Beloved Naka, my name is Sasisa and I will be demonstrating my creative artwork for Matai. I've chosen question two, um, which is to outline an endangered land and ocean resource in your Pacific community and uh, highlight the significance, its endangerment, how it's been harmed and ways to protect it. So I'll be shooting it from another view, angle view of how I am going by the process of creating a endangered species. Okay, so first I am going to be drawing up the borders. For more clarity and more um, like focus of the main um, endangered ocean resource or the species that I'm going to be demonstrating. Um, the reason uh, I chose is turtles, sea turtles. The reason why I chose it is for my method creative work is that sea turtles create, hold a very great significance to a lot of people, a lot of Pacific Island uh, communities as well. So it demonstrates a lot of um, prehistoric stories as well and um, it is believed that um, turtles used to carry prayers to heaven so uh, around uh, 215 million years ago making them the oldest reptile group Sea turtles, uh, there were like a lot of species, um, like seven to five species of different types of sea turtles. So, a sea turtle is not only a keystone species for an ocean or land resource. It's also a very significant resource for the balance in the ecosystem. Okay. Well, like I said before, sea turtles were a symbol of protection, considered a symbol of protection, uh, longevity and stability. They have been known to carry people's prayers to heaven and even sometimes considered um, a great source of food. So when we say what what does it mean to well when we say protect <coughs> it appears like a sign to defend yourself from the heart. When you're looking at a turtle its shell completely you would be able to say that it, or it can, from one's perspective, you can say that it can actually look after itself, right? And it actually defends itself using that shell and approaching to danger, attacks, you know, and it's the same for us as human beings. Whenever we're facing any danger, we turn to protect ourselves, you know, in our life. <coughs> Um, it also um, say uh, portrays longevity. When I say longevity, it means long life. A symbol that tends to stand firm and to abide even in the bad and the good times. And uh, it's a life long journey to live life to the fullest you know and to never lose hope and to appreciate um, till the very end so these errors that I'm actually making it shows the direction you know that relates to longevity like the direction that you're willing to choose in life it's actually a very simple um, 
massy or traditional tattoo design for someone's which I am portraying in my uh, creative work right now um, using my background as the someone and to depict so process of how longevity the life the journey should be you know um, it the turtles also present patience when we say patience it typically means <clears throat> like the calm the relaxed nature of turtles you know that marks the significance that in this world that we live in we should also have enough peace and we should live our life peacefully rather than running behind money and getting nervous due to overwork or uselessness and um, sometimes there's no soul satisfaction right from running around all from all that money so turtles are considered as chief contributors to the healthy ecosystems and um, important to the diversity of the ocean. So right now I'm uh, making the shell of the turtle. Very simple um, yet meaningful um, pattern of the type of turtle I'm making. It's usually used in the traditional Masi or Tato designs uh, when depicting one person's story life or a uh, very historic uh, a background from where they actually come from. And um, <clears throat> sea turtles play a major role, you know. Um, in uh, the Pacific culture and for the local Fijians as well. Um, that um, is used as a tournament or provide an environment marketing tool, you can say which uh, sometimes resorts to tourist extractions. Okay, so these are the legs, this is the fin, two arms, you can say. Swimming away. So the significance I want to talk about the turtles is that turtles have a strong cultural link to the Pacific people, right? Pacific uh, island islanders um, mix have songs, legends, and traditions attached to it. It was uh, traditionally it was referred to as a sacred food item preserved for only for those noble from Beth. Um, marine turtles as well. Um, traditionally when um, if you're uh, listening to Fijian fishes or reef gatherers, they would describe and talk about sea turtles in a very unique way. They would uh, describe how it breeds, how it feeds on meadow of seagrass, how they shed salient tears when they cry and um, how they have meat like an animal not like a fish but like an animal uh, all these remarkable qualities uh, about a turtle signifies signifies how <clears throat> How a special value it holds to the indigenous culture and the global organization assigned to the turtles. 
Like in Tavuni and other parts of the Green Pacific region, turtles are considered an important prestige food gifting and seasonal substance for food as well. Um, not only its uh, benefit, it also has benefits on its eggs as well. I'll call it producing quality nutrition and especially the eggshell and the embryo the fluid sock. So uh, the reason why I wanted to really portray about these um, turtles and to signify it in my matai was that it's a very important a reptile species that is slowly getting extinct by the day um, due to climate affiliations and climate change, global warming that continues to impact um, numerous species but it's mostly devastating for sea turtles as well as um, uh, due to the long and endangered uh, human actions like um, long line fishing, drift net fishing, poaching of uh, sea turtle eggs. As well as over half the steam of its sea uh, over harvesting or catching of sea turtles that leads to a deadline of this ancient species. Beautiful creatures. Alright, so we have a very beautiful picture. If we sketched it. So Due to climate change as well, like um, just because there is a rise in water temperature, um, changes in the sea levels that um, damage their natural habitats. Um, one thing unique is that just because there is a rise in temperature of the sea levels, um, there is um, more female hatchlings now than uh, male and that poses a great threat to this um, species uh, based on the survivals and reproductions as well. So um, it is best, so some ways of protecting these species may include or some ways of preserving this uh, conserving this species so it does not completely get extinct is um, probably guiding fishing industries to a more friendly practice through consumption sustainable hot seafood and um, reducing the amount of plastic usage that endangers the sea turtles um, there was a video of uh, a very descriptive video of a sea turtle that had a straw right through its mouth um, it somehow adapted to that straw, plastic straw, and so since that uh, day, I think the World Health Organization, Wildlife Organization decided that, you know, there should be a ban in plastic bags as well, and any uh, usage of plastics, um, as well as, uh, you know, disposable of toxic chemicals, because eventually it will just lead back to the ocean and which also harms a lot of other marine ecosystems as well <clears throat> um, but most importantly is reducing the carbon footprint right so like I said before that due to climate change as well that affects these uh, wonderful creatures um, it's always uh, better to reduce your f carbon footprint for the betterment for yourself 
as well as everyone around you, the living species as well. So these species are quite rare right now. And like I said before, that their hatchlings is de determined by the temperature of the water. So if it's warm, mostly warm, then there will be more female hatchlings. And if it's cold, then there would be more male hatchlings. But um, apparently right now, due to the climate change, heat and the warmth in the sea levels and all, there's more female hatchlings. So that poses a really great uh, threat to these wonderful uh, creatures. And the whole echo system as well. So right now I am just coloring and highlighting the significance of this turtle as well. So I'll be, as I said earlier on, I'll be using some sand, sand art as well, to show the full picture of my creative work. So, I'm done with this. So I'll be using my fingers to just go through giving that well established nice color. The turtles have lived for millions of years, so it's very interesting to know that. And it's very keen for us to protect it as well. You know, because it depends on us as human beings. So, like I said before, that um, it's important to um, to have like to protect this um, wishful and beautiful creatures. It's like it creates a lot of meaning, you know, new beginnings. So, like um, it is believed as well that it carries. Um, good luck to your family, you know, for hundreds of thousands of years. You see one stated, the Pacific, my great grandmother, she believes that, but it, she's been a Samoan, she believes that if you see it, a turtle, believed to have blessed you of a lifelong of good luck. So, let's add some sand. So, turtles are also land creatures as well, and they come to uh, the land, the sand, the beach, to lay their eggs, respectively. They're also, you know, an ocean creature. So basically, they. They are really smart and wonderful creatures. I've always been mesmerized by turtles, honestly. The way they are, the beautiful creatures, the hatchlings, and all. And my grandmother telling me stories about them. It's very magical, very, very great time. So. Add more sand to it to hold it. Okay. So this is the final product that came out. <coughs> I'll be filling in some of the spaces as well. But I thought making it very interesting, I thought to color it. So I'm gonna be doing a color combination, maybe green. So yes. So turtles are known to have like darker. Skin colors, 
making the shells as well. Very beautiful. Yeah. There you go. And inside here. I've used sand because we need to be mindful that we can, everything connects us, right? From our from us to nature, from us to mother nature. And all. So does sand is significant as well. Homeland, so. rest of it so I was thinking of doing the blue background to show that the spikes of it to show that this turtle is swimming away with a little bit of sand on top of its back on its legs um, on its face as well on its head it is drafting away to another place carrying that sand and this plate to another place and swifting away. No? Carries the story to another island. There. And to conclude this furthermore, I would say that turtles hold great significance. Great, great significance. Um, like I said before, it was believed by our ancestors, by ancient ancestors, that they used to uh, deliver or carry a message of prayers to the heavens. Now, isn't that interesting? And this, these animals are very unique, lived for millions of years, carrying different traditions, carrying different storylines, and all very very unique so to conclude this and that's it this is my final piece thank you